good morning my sweet sweet friends a happy vlogmas day 11. i'm currently wearing my new joggers i am so excited hallelujah um love that so favorite part of the day making coffee but have had no coffee so we're awfully out of it i make a full pot of coffee every day not that anybody asked but i make a full pot of coffee every day because i feel like i always have my friends stopping by or whoever's stopping by and i'm always like oh my god do you want a coffee like laura lorelei gilmore who also this shirt has so many fuzzies on it i have no idea really from what i don't know if it's from the sweater it might be she might be also i tried to use a different coffee this one let's have a little coffee talk shall we i tried this coffee this maple brown sugar moose tracks harry and david coffee you guys it literally tastes like chemical so we are sticking to our tried and true gingerbread coffee for that homemade gingerbread latte lifestyle so I put seven and a half little things in here. Two, three, four, Yeah, full. So we need Great. I think it would be so good to do an ASMR video with all the sounds that go into making coffee. Like one. Like I think making coffee and then even doing the pouring water sound. I think I'm on to something there. I think I'm on to something. But we are gonna get this coffee a rockin' and a rollin' because it is 4.56 and baby needs a coffee. Baby needs a coffee. I made my lemon water already. So this is my lemon water. I'll be drinking this for my skin. And really excited for my trip coming up. Um, getting closer and it was so funny yesterday's video <clears throat> was filmed like night of because I was just having a really really long <laughs> mentally stressful day which I still have those from time to time no matter how far in your self-love journey you get no matter how spiritual and high vibe you get no matter how much work you do no matter how much therapy you go to no matter what you will always have um days that feel a little bit off where you need a little bit of realignment and refocus and just really pouring all your energy into you and not focusing as much on showing up for other people which is important but you have to come first so filmed of course i got a video up still but i'm being very hard on myself still got a video up it's not my point point being the video that i got up last night i felt so big and then i feel guilt for saying that or thinking that or feeling that not because i should like love myself because i can still love myself and think that i look big in a video because i don't think that being big is necessarily a bad thing um it's it's such a weird like thought process to have like it is so so interesting and if you've ever struggled with like body dysmorphia if you've ever struggled with like an eating disorder of any sorts then like you really even when you feel like you're totally healed and totally recovered, you still will have these little like flash moments of old ways and old thinking. And it's, it's just so crazy. So yeah, I think just like vulnerable moment that I almost didn't post that video last night. I almost didn't post that video yesterday and I found myself cropping, um, cropping parts out because I could like see my body too much and then I was like why am I doing that like I almost didn't upload any of that um any of that haul because I was like oh you can see my body and it's like I am so beautiful and like I love myself so much and like even if I am like heavier than I was which I'm really not I feel like it's really in my head I have no idea um but 
it's just it's it's a funny thing to be in and it's part of being human so i want to remind you guys that do not focus on getting to this perfect place do not focus on waiting until you're at a certain spot to like feel like you can love yourself enough yet or you can accept yourself enough yet or anything of the sort because i am like happier than i've ever been i love myself more than i ever have and like i appreciate my body and just all of my being more than i ever have but i still still have moments and days where I hear other people's voices in my head and I hear, you know, I think about the judgment or critique from others that I would get and it's just, you know, I, I refuse to live by that saying of, oh, that's just part of your job or, oh, that's just a way of life or whatever it may be because I don't, I don't want to believe that. I don't want to believe that um, me choosing to show up online automatically justifies getting judgments or critique or hate or anything about that, which I mean could lead us to a discussion about YouTube's new guidelines, which I don't necessarily see a whole lot of issues with as so many creators that I know, and they don't even talk about this because they have like younger demographics. Um, I know so many creators who are so negatively affected by hate comments and critiques and critiques in like a very negative way. Um, like, like, let's be real. It's just like judgment. It's just like, it really is like just trying to cut people down, which I think those are always like the harshest comments where people are like trying to almost manipulate their comment and try and be very condescending and rude. And it's always just like, oh gosh. So um, just a very interesting moment to have last night. And I was thinking about it this morning and just, you know, um, I didn't pull out the camera till, I mean, I've been up since 4.30. So I just gave myself time to kind of, like make my lemon water and be present with myself and just have a lot of like energy of gratitude for my body and myself and my own presence and my own stillness with myself um so i just want to remind you guys if you feel like you are at a place where you are not loving yourself enough or you're not loving your body enough like not appreciating yourself enough not loving or appreciating your skin enough whatever it may be like I promise that like you you are doing enough like you are doing the best you can where you are at like we are all doing the best we can where we are at and if you feel like you're not I want you to ask yourself like what can I do differently like how can I show up more like how can I open my heart more like what am I kind of avoiding you know what I mean so I that's just always the goal, you know, like show up the best you can every day in every moment and um, really happy we could have this lemon water chat this morning. So yeah, reminder that you are beautiful and you are doing amazing and uh, I mean, hell, even if you did eat 20 cookies and even if you did eat all these bad foods during Thanksgiving, I think that's also what it is too. So many people on social media during the holidays, I just see everyone being like, oh, going to go work off my dinner, gonna go work off those cookies. And I'm like, you're a human meant to enjoy this human experience. Like if you're putting that negative guilt energy into that cookie, like, that's what you're putting in your body and also like it's just like when we say catch up on sleep like it's actually impossible to catch up on sleep you can't do that i learned that in psychology class when i was still a student um yeah it's not true you can't catch up on sleep um and also there's no such thing as like working off these cookies it's not like you like are you looking at the exact calorie amount of that cookie and then just getting on the treadmill for that amount of time because you don't have to earn your right to enjoy food I'm going to say that again. You don't have to earn your right to enjoy food. Okay, my sweet, sweet friends. So, we are getting our face on. Conquering the day. I am super fair right now from this light. This big old window washing me out. It is storming up a storm outside. She's real windy. She real crazy. So windy, it was setting off my motion detector lights and cameras and all that. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Using my new It Cosmetic. Look how 
pale I look. I think I'm in a loving tan. This is not doing good things for my self-esteem. Not doing good things. We're getting ready. We are putting our foundation on. <laughs> we are getting ready. Look how bright that light is. Oh my god. We get it, son. Come through. Okay. We need to go to the store, y'all. We out of toilet paper. You hear me? TP. We out of that TP. <laughs> SOS. We out of the TP. Okay, my loves. If you saw my haul, you know I picked up new mascaras, a new Kylie lip kit. My third Kylie lip kit, how humbling. I really didn't expect to like these, and I love these. I love them, girl. So, I don't know which I'm more excited to try, the new Kylie lip kit or the new mascara. They killed it with this packaging. Love it. Okay, let's give it a go. Okay, let's do mascara first. Also, I need to pick up more rose water. By the way, setting your face with this Smashbox primer water. Girl, spray it on after your makeup too. Why is no one telling you to do that? You know what? They out here sabotaging us. They don't want the best for us. This was part of the, um, the Hood Witch collection. I love Brie so much. She's amazing. Crystal Clarity. Lavender Sweet Orange. Amethyst Spray. So nervous. Well, what if this doesn't go well? <laughs> <laughs> Bish. Referring to myself. Bitch. Okay. Oh, I bet you know when you like see your eyelash trying to penetrate your eye. Why don't sabotage me like that? Why are you trying to do me like that? Bitch. Um, okay. I'm too blown out, but like, bitch. Okay, hold up. Hey, okay, pop off. Okay, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Cute. Amazing. Phenomenal. Shook, shook. Yeah, I have textured skin. Who the fuck cares? Still beautiful. Shook. I am shook if. Shook. As my, I literally have one eye of mascara on, okay? I need no one to judge me. As my grandpa taught me, and this is so much easier said than done, but just seeing them practice it, I could cry. Seeing them practice it over the years has taught me that things are just things. Everything is truly replaceable at some time, most cases, unless it's like a family heirloom. Basically, when I was filming that clip, I just shattered the absolute crap out of my phone. Um, so, that's really cool. All of our, like, countertops and, like, tops of everything are granite. And I don't know about you guys, but I feel like this iPhone literally slips off of everything. I feel like I'll put it on something and it just slips. So... Um, change of plans. I need to go get a new iPhone today because I went to pick it up and I sliced the shit out of my finger, which I've done that on the back before. The back has been cracked and TBH, I just don't care. Um, because the front still worked and it was totally fine and still worked. Um, and I'm just someone who like uses things until they like kind of break, you know, kind of like my last camera. <laughs> This is a new version of the camera that I did have. The screen was totally cracked and messed up, but it still worked. So I didn't really understand what the problem was, but now the front of my camera is cracked. Oh my God, is my camera cracked? Probably. That's not good. Okay. Um, but anywho, before I go on my trip, I can't be going on my trip and then having like my phone just not work, you know? So we are doing this. I just bought my new phone. Just paid. Place my order. Nicely done for spending sixteen hundred dollars, bitch. Uh, my God. I don't need to see myself in this high of quality. Uh, don't worry, I got an iPhone case, and I swear to gosh, if I, <laughs> okay. 
it's okay. We figured it out. It's not a big deal. I'm really hoping that I did not like somehow accidentally order the wrong one. I don't know if there is a way to order the wrong one. I should probably ask Liz. She would know more than anyone. Um, and then the best part is it was like, do you have an iPhone to turn in? And like, I'm not even going to pretend to try and turn this in. Nobody wants this. I promise. And by the way, I asked, um, I called Apple because I don't have Apple Care which I bought Apple Care this time, I want to point out. Also, I almost somehow bought two phones, and I saw that Sam, I won't try and pronounce her last name. I know she recently got married and has Matt's last name, I think. Also, there's so many facts that I don't know in here right now. Um, you guys, basically, I just smashed my camera, my phone. Oh my god. That was my stuff. I need to finish getting ready and go pick up my new phone. So, okay, I'm vlogging. Don't talk about that. Okay, outfit. These Westwood mom jeans, y'all, are everything. I'm going to link them down below. I'm going to buy multiple pairs. I don't care. I think that they're amazing. The sweater is amazing. That wasn't a flattering angle, but you know what? We're choosing to love ourselves anyway. We got, oh my God, we got that freshly curled-ish hair. I took like 10 minutes and curled the top of my hair. <laughs> I did one of those moves, but now we have to head to Reno to go pick up my new phone. Liz, it is absolutely a roaring outside. Rain and wind, man. Rain and wind. Okay, let's go to Reno. Hey, my sweet, 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 sweet friends. I have obtained the new phone. I got the new phone. Personally, I paid in full because payments are just stressful i also got airpods did i need these absolutely not do i really not like bluetooth things yeah did does this make sense that i bought them absolutely not and just so everyone knows because i had to hear all about it they now make noise canceling airpods and this is the second generation i get i don't know what's different between the first one i don't know they also have a wireless charging one wow wireless charging i thought apple stopped making those like wireless charging pads so riddle me that apple <laughs> talk shit about apple wearing all apple products Ugh. but i also stopped by lululemon because y'all I have had my Lulus for about three or four years now. I have not bought a new pair of Lululemons, Lemmers, since I lived in San Francisco. Um, <laughs> triggered. Um, so, the pairs that I picked up were the Align HR, whatever that means. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Naked sensation, my favorite sensation. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm like this. Um, yeah, I picked up these. These are the Align, Align HR 25 inch <laughs> inches. And then I picked up a pair of Wonder Unders, of course. And then I picked these up because the only the little ones I do have also are only cropped. Um, and baby, uh. It's too freaking cold out. My ankles be getting brisky, girl. Brisky. I also got a phone case. I also got Apple Care. Y'all, I'm really being an adult this time. Let me tell Liz we're vlogging. Liz. Liz and I pretty much have updates of what's going on in each other's lives at all times. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. So, I... I need to up the size of the font in my phone because this normal size font is way too gosh darn small. Everyone makes fun of the font in my phone, but guess what? I don't squint when I look at my phone most of the time. Should I get glasses? Probably. Will I? No. Theory. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't like that. How do I... Ooh. I see. Hey Siri. How do I make the font bigger in my phone? Okay, I found this on the web for how do I make the font bigger in my phone. Okay. Check it out. <sighs> Siri. Hey Siri. Uh-huh. 
That wasn't helpful. She said, I'm not sure I understand. Yeah, she's trying to play coy now. This has been playing the whole time. Oh God. Um, we'll see how loud that was, but I might have to repeat that whole thing. What's vibrating? Something's vibrating in my car. Anywho, I was saying that on my way home from getting... On my way home from getting my brand new iPhone, love her, um, that I started to get a headache and I had some of that leftover um, Advil from when I had really bad cramps when I had just gotten to Idaho. So I was like, oh my gosh, I never have Advil. I'm gonna take this Advil. Well, same thing happened again that happened right after I took the Advil and Midol is I thought I had food poisoning. I started like throwing up and feeling like I was gonna shit my pants tmi but like tbh that's what was happening and what i was saying is can you be allergic to advil like i feel like that's a stupid question but also like is my body just not used to taking it so it tries like rejecting it and i only took two like two little pill capsule things lady don't include me in your death wish sis oh my god lady um but yeah, so I had been bedridden all day yesterday, but we are getting back into the swing of things today. So I will upload this video tonight. So when I get to Palm Springs, currently on my way to Palm Springs, I feel like there's so many people, but we are on our way to Palm Springs. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw that I announced where I'm going. <laughs> I am going to Palm Springs for two nights and then I am headed off to Tucson. I am really excited. My friends, Sarah and Rich, opened up their new B&B in Tucson. So Sarah and Rich own the Joshua Tree houses, which I always go to, the Joshua Tree Hacienda, the Joshua Tree House, and the Joshua Tree Casita. And now they opened up the what's it called the Posita, Poseta? I don't wanna, I'm probably saying it wrong. Um, but it's a B&B in Tucson, Arizona, and they totally redid it, remodeled it, and it is so exciting because last summer, last fall, oh, this is really great lighting, phenomenal, thank you. Um, but what I was gonna say is that last summer, end of summer, they were telling me that they had just bought this property and they were showing me the plans and all these things and I am just so happy for them and so freaking proud of them. Um, they're amazing people. I'm sure I'll vlog with them. I never normally vlog with them. They're, it's so funny how like Instagram people, meaning like people who are mainly on the platform of Instagram, never really like experience video. So when they have to be on video, they can like feel uncomfortable sometimes, which is so funny because actually they're on camera all the time, just still photos, not video so it's always so interesting to see how uh different humans react to different things but so interesting so funny so it is 9 30 now we are on our way we are driving through crystal bay right now around lake tahoe then we're gonna come out through james told me what it was what's it called carson city and then we're gonna drive down it's gonna be so much fun this is the drive that i used to take to go home to la from the mountains from the cabin and this is amazing I am just so excited Ugh. life is so good right now you guys life is so good even though I shattered my phone even though I got super sick twice in the past like week all is well I feel fine now I was able to replace my phone it's not the end of the world things are going great things are just going so good it's fine everything works out and even vlogmas i found myself really getting like upset with myself and slipping into this really negative mindset of like i'm messing up and like oh my god like i don't want people to be mad at me i don't want people to think i'm not caring or anything like that but really it's like could you imagine if i had been trying to vlog or like you know do a video when i literally was like that sick i actually feel super nauseous now i had some coffee this morning i didn't have any coffee yesterday um and uh, I'm guessing that that coffee on an empty stomach, which I normally do. I normally do do a lot of coffee on an empty stomach because I got an iron stomach. But for some reason, y'all, you guys, when I say iron stomach, I mean in college, I literally used to eat just like we would leave pizza out and I would just like eat it and I'd be totally fine. 
like getting fast food and then like not putting it away and then the next morning waking up i would eat it and like i was fine I've, I've never had a sensitive stomach and for some reason i think advil is not my friend i don't know if that's a real thing i've taken tylenol before and i know tylenol um i don't know how to say this like without it sounding kind of like scary but it makes my chest hurt like my chest tight um so i don't know maybe i should talk to my doctor about that maybe i should talk to my doctor about that but also last time that i brought up medical things on here like just my legs hurting the first day of my period maybe i should have thrown that in it was just the first day of my period and the moment i took like advil and that might all it went away right away but everyone was telling me i had endometriosis